This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. He says, I'm a 62-year-old male on eHarmony. There are more women interested in me than in my 20s. And I tell you guys, the older you get, the more mature you are, or the more mature you appear to women, the more established you are. And women ages like 25 to 75, especially with this guy, the world is your oyster. They will, that age range will look at you like, but you got all the stuff that I need and you are going to secure me. And so I should be able to get this, this uh, guy. Anyway, he says, I started dating a high quality female uh, three times. I whined and dined her, was a perfect gentleman. Didn't try to be physical in any way. She began to withdraw. Her texts were without feeling and sentiment. Zero phone calls. I then mirrored her behavior. Again, 62. I completely gave her zero attention. I decided to move on. Now she is blowing up my phone, apologizing and texting. And you know what? I don't care. Exactly. And that should be the attitude you guys always have. If you hit her up for a text and she doesn't respond back, okay, talk to somebody else. If she hits you back, okay, great. I guess we'll go out. Like this is why I try to stress indifference in the dating world is your friend. The less emotional attachment you add to these various actions that women are or are not doing, the more in control you're going to be and the more uh, likely of a man that women are going to see as a potential catch. Just real talk. 62 doing this. So across the board, whether I'm talking to 20-year-olds or 60-year-olds, you being indifferent to them calling and texting you is going to get you positive results. Anyway, he says, there's plenty more knocking down the door to contact me. Ambivalence is a powerful tool. My advice to any of you youngsters, don't let your physical attraction for a woman turn you into a sniveling, worrying beta male. If you find if you find one you think you like, give it three dates before you decide. I still say go three months, but again, at least don't stop getting obsessed about a woman after date one, you know? And don't let your lust for her override your logic and common sense. That's ample time to figure out her personality and make an educated decision on how to continue. If she's hot, don't tell her so. Every other swing chat out there has told her so already. Be aloof. What I tell you guys all the time, don't try to overcompliment women. I tell you to like, don't be obsessed with them right away. I tell you guys that in the world of dating of the two of you, she can apply her emotion to the situation. It is more beneficial to you if you are not the one being overly emotional or overly expressing your feelings because you need to stay on the straight and narrow. I know you want to get into this relationship with this woman and have a romantic time. And hey, you can do that by way of romantic actions. But everything you do during the dating process should be thought out and planned out methodically because you're going to air better if you have a blueprint map on how to date because women like guys that know how to handle them. When you don't look like you know what you're doing with women, that's what scares women off. So I know you're thinking, but if I learn all this stuff, then I'm gonna be a mechanical dater. Exactly. You should have a methodical way of dating that's going to help you get the most maximum outcome of women that you can possibly get because that outcome is gonna let you know across the board that what you're doing, women like. And if you're not getting a lot of women, that means what you're doing right now, women do not like. If you need help with that, you can go to introvertdatingsuccess.com. I would love to help coach you or you can get one of my eBooks or programs that will walk you through the ins and outs of what those things are so you can effectively get women and date them the right way, all right? But thank you, Guy, for leaving that because that, that just proves everything that I've been saying on all these shows, you know?